What's going on guys? This is Joe and we are here. It is finally here and I am super excited. I feel like I always say that, but every time it's true and this time more than, I feel like more than any other, but it, maybe I'm wrong. But look, look where we are. We're here on Dominaria. Finally, we are back. Uh, to the plane where magic started for its 25th anniversary. It just makes sense and we're here to open pre-release kits So why don't I stop talking and get to talking as I open these pre-release kits? We're gonna do all three in this video Don't worry, but we're gonna do them one at a time obviously because doing all three would be silly But yeah, we'll do this first one first and we will see what sweet things we get if you've never seen a pre-release kit before I'm going to show you really quickly the things you get inside of it. First of all, there's the kit itself This is what this one looks like uh, We've got the promo image that we saw many many times on the outside. We pop the box open this way It's got all of our cards in it, which is nice and at the bottom Hidden in there. You guys can kind of see it. There it is. There's a d20. It's got the Dominaria set symbol as the 20, which is cool. Spin down life counter for your pre-release event. And of course the packs. There's also a little divider and a story insert as there always is. Kind of cool, but otherwise whatever. Um, but this time we have two promos. This is a set all about legendary creatures, legendary enchantments and sorceries and things like that. And so this, I have to open these packs. I usually don't do it, but I have to now because our first promo, I'll zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see it a little bit better, but we have a foil rare land in Sulphur Falls. Now I just finished talking about legends and it's like, well, Joe, this isn't legendary. And you're right, because if this were a legendary land, it would be real bad. People want four of these in their decks. Uh, so, but I still got a uh, stamped, promo land and I prefer getting these not at pre-release because you you want to be able to play them in your decks but if I'm opening them for all of you then sure that's fine this will be cool and our legend is an uncommon legend in Danatha Capuchin Paragon the woman who turned down a seat on the weather light as we learned in the stories, uh, and her brother was more than happy to take up the mantle instead, Raph Capuchin, which maybe we'll see him, maybe you'll see him, but the foiling pattern on her is gorgeous because, I feel like I'm gonna say this a million times, the art on her card is sweet. Uh, the we, we saw her early on in preview season, which was nice, at least the art, I should say, uh, and um, we got her stained glass in the background. The stained glass on her sword is really, really cool. That's a... Uh, the stained glass is a theme for Banalia. So we will leave those on the side and we're gonna crack into some packs. Oh my goodness. First of all, look at that. We got Karn, he's got a little bit of a shimmer to him. Besides the glare, there's an actual shimmer to Karn on the, on the pack art. So let's go ahead and open these up and see what we get inside because that's why we're here, isn't it? Open packs, opening packs. So we have Fervent Strike. Sarah Disciple, Homerid Explorer, look at this guy. I'm not really a, a I love a mill strategy, although I don't think it's really there in this set, but this card is cool. Look at the art on this guy, I love it. Uh, An ad Adventurous Impulse, gorgeous. Whoops, I went past like a bunch of cards there. You guys want to see all of them, right? Soul Salvage, <laughs> a Sapperling Migration. A blink of an eye. This is like the eeriest art in the set. Look at how weird and scary this art is. There is a seismic shift. There is a, an Avon Sentry. Cabal Evangel. A Sarah Angel. Classic. And our first uncommon. Board the Weatherlight is our second uncommon. Very, very nice. And again, you know... Danatha may have turned it down, but there are lots of others to take her place. We have, wow, <laughs> really? <laughs> pack one. <laughs> All right, sure, no complaints from me. Pack one, we have the one, the only, Jaya Ballard, a Planeswalker mythic as the first card that we open, open, not counting our promos, out of Dominaria. That is amazing. And uh, since we only had two uncommons, I assume that this is our legend slot, and it is. It is Slin Voda, the Rising Deep. That is a very expensive Leviathan, but that's fine. Behind that, a mountain, 
and a sapperling token. Look at that sapperling. That's so cool. All right. Well, we opened her already, but now let's see what the pack with her on the front has in store for us with a Jaya Ballard pack. I'm just going to tear it to shreds, apparently. I'm, like, really interested in getting into these cards. Okay. So, we have a Syncopate, Gitu Chronicler, Dub, 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 Dub. We have a Grow from the Ashes, Blessing of Belzenlock. Belzenlock has done everything on Dominaria. I don't know if you guys have heard. Uh, Power Stone Shard, Shivan Fire, awesome, awesome, awesome art. Call the Cavalry, Lanawar Elves, now featuring Elves, unless you count 7th edition. Sparring Construct, a Spore Swarm is the first uncommon, that's cool. Whoops, well, now you saw that, but that's okay. We have a Curator's Ward, and <laughs> our second Mythic in a row. <laughs> At least it's part red, we could play both. Although, Jaya's triple red, that'd be real tough. But, we have Daragaz, reincarnated. So it's the reawakened, or reincarnated, uh, invasion dragons. They are back, and here we have Daragaz back once again. So that is fantastic. Second mythic out of two packs. And our uh, legend is Shana, Sisei's legacy. So this is someone who did take up a seat on the Weatherlight. In fact, I think she was the... Well, technically, I guess the second recruit uh, by Captain Joyra herself, but here we are with Shauna, Sisei's Legacy, a swamp behind that, and a soldier token. Once again, uh, stained glass in the shield, the sword, etc. We have a very pissed off looking Teferi on the front here. All this nostalgia in this set, it is fantastic. I'm super happy to have opened two Mythics already. Look at that, that's crazy. Uh, we have... In this pack, let's see what it has for us. A Skirk Prospector, Devonant Trapper, a Cold Water Snapper. Do you see what they did there? Cold Snap. Check the flavor text too, you'll see more set names. Wind Grace Acolyte, Pierce the Sky, another Blink of an Eye, uh, Death Bloom Thalid, to make some of those Sapperling tokens we've seen, a Blood Tallow Candle, an Ancient Animus, where we get to actually see Multani and uh, Karn kind of squaring off a little bit. That's going to be interesting if that comes up in the story. I'm very interested to see what's going on there. We have a Fiery Intervention. Uh, speaking of, you know, Teferi, or not Teferi, Karn and, and Multani there. Uh, obviously that's not those two, but still. Uh, it's... It, talks about their conflict. We have a Memorial to Genius as our first uncommon. Second is Knight of Malice, and our rare or mythic is Urza's Ruinous Blast. The art on this card, I think the card does not do this art justice, because the art is insane. It is so good, and even if I hold it closer to the camera, it won't do it justice. I encourage you to look up uh, Noah Bradley's full arts of these. They're fantastic. But we open a Legendary Sorcery, which is really, really sweet. One of the Legendary Sorceries. That's cool. Uh, and our legend is Orgoros, the Empty One. Really, really cool. We get to see specters come back, discarding cards, flying, etc. Um, behind that, an island, and another sapperling token. This one has weird, gross fur on it. You don't really want to see fur on a fungus. It's really gross. Uh, okay, we are halfway through. We've got three more packs left. In this pack, we have... We start with the turtle named after a set in the Cold Water Snapper, Fervent Strike, Gift of Growth, oh my goodness, Dark Bargain, Skittering Surveyor, Primordial Worm, Academy Drake, a Demonic Vigor, Power Stone Shard, Wizard's Lightning is the first uncommon, so if you want Lightning Bolt, you better be playing with Wizards. Uh, a Warcry Phoenix, and our rare or mythic is... Kamal's Druidic Vow, another legendary sorcery. That's two legendary sorceries and two mythics so far. Behind that, a foil. I was gonna say, I don't know where the foils are gonna be, so this is not our legend slot yet. We have another legend behind this, but here is uh, the Skittering Surveyor. It's a common foil. The foiling pattern looks pretty cool. The background is nice. I like that. Behind the Skittering Surveyor, 
is Arvad the Cursed, another member of the Weatherlight crew. And this guy is a vampire. He actually has a really... I like his ability a lot. Or just him in general. I think he's really cool. Uh, a forest behind him and another sapperling token. And a third uh, unique art for the sapperlings as well. We'll move on to another Jaya pack. We have two packs left. Counting this one that I'm holding in my hand for the first kit. And then hold tight. There's two more. And hey, if we're getting anything even close to how good we got in this one, stay tuned. We have a Vodalian Arcanist, Frenzied Rage, Grow from the Ashes, come on, Blessing of Bells and Lock, a Runamuck, Gideon's Reproach, look at that, Gideon's just punching that Cabal guy right in the face, he just does not care. A Thalid Omnivore, Jousting Lance, a Saprling Migration, Blink of an Eye again, Memorial to Genius again, a damp Damping Sphere, I was going to say Dampening Sphere, that's not correct, here's a Damping Sphere, and our Rare or Mythic is, wow, we get a Saga in the Mirari Conjecture. Everything I've opened so far in this Rare or Mythic slot has been interesting and awesome to me. Here's the Mirari Conjecture, it's a Saga. These uh, new style of vertical arts are very intriguing to me. I think they all look amazing. And here is just one example of a Saga. So we have that. Behind the Mirari Conjecture, we have our legend in Halar the Fire Fletcher. Awesome, and it's uh, a gold one. We had uh, another one in Shauna earlier. Behind that, a Swamp and a Soldier Token again. Last pack has that angry, angry Teferi on it. Let's see what it has in store for us. And then, like I said, two more kits to go, despite all of the awesome value and nostalgia that we've already cracked into so far out of one kit. So we have a Keldon Warcaller, Knight of New Banalia, Feral Abomination, Corrosive Ooze, that card looks sweet, Avon Sentry, Skittering Surveyor, Primordial Worm, another Academy Drake, another Demonic Vigor, a Power Stone Shard, Skizik, Sk Skizik, it's our first uncommon, hilarious name, I love it so much, uh, a Howling Golem, because the Howling Mine has gotten legs and walked away, so here's your Howling Golem, and our Rare or Mythic is a final, oh, I'm sorry, this is our third uncommon, so I guess that's interesting. I don't know, I don't fully know how that works, but I guess we'll find out in a second. But this is Final Parting, uh, which is one of the story spotlights that uh, has this instance has really kind of sold through the entire storyline so far of Liliana getting rid, finally, of her brother Jozu. Uh, and behind it we have, yes, so it is a rare legend in Marwyn the Nurturer. So we have a, a Mama Elf druid here. Looks really, really sweet, so that's nice to see. Behind that we have an island and a sapperling token. So out of this one, guys, obviously these two, right? That was super sweet. We got two legendary sorceries as well, so that's awesome. Let's move into kit number two of three and see what this one has for us. As I said, number two. We had the, since it's something different, we had the red dye out of the first one. Let's see what color we get out of this one. Same as before, open it up, get all this stuff out. We get, surprise, surprise, another red one. That's all right. I'll trade for more during the weekend. I got plenty of time to get them all because I sure do get all five. Don't you worry. <laughs> you weren't worried. Uh, anyway, let's get these out of the way so we can open these promos, shall we? Okay. And our promos are, really? I like that there's this little thing over it. Like, you can kind of see what's in there, but there's a little bit more mystique behind it as well. We have, we saw this guy already, but not in foil. We have Arvad the Cursed, or Cursed, depending on how you want to say it. I say Cursed, but here he is. He looks sweet in foil, too. That's really nice. I'm glad to have an Arvad in foil. That's cool. And our rare or mythic is a mythic in Multani, Yavamaya's avatar. Super awesome, look at that. 
beautiful foiling pattern. Sorry for the glare, guys, but beautiful, beautiful foiling pattern there. And it's a mythic uh, promo, which is fantastic. I love that. So we'll leave that on the side as well. And same as before, let's get into these packs. First one has, let's see what it has, shall we? Same as before, we have a dub. Talarian Scholar, Frenzied Rage, Drudge Sentinel, a Fiery Intervention again, another Blood Tallow Candle, Demonic Vigor, Call the Cavalry, Ancient Animus, Memorial to Folly is the first uncommon, Wild Onslaught is the second, and Rare or Mythic? Come on. Yes, we have another saga in the Fall of the Thran. Super awesome. I love that. Again, all these sagas, very, very interesting artwork. You can tell that it really does depict, it's like uh, an item in the museum that talks about something that did happen in the past. It's another nostalgia hit for, for people who are aware of the storylines from the past. And if you're not, it's an opportunity for you to look them up, right? Because that would be really, really cool to find out what happened here if you're not fully aware already. So, after the fall of the Thran, we have a foil uncommon in the Goblin War Chief. Look at that. So, uh, probably more so for Constructed, but if you can get there in Limited, sweet. This guy is your Goblin Lord at Uncommon, so that's nice. Maybe you can get two in, like, a draft, or if you get lucky enough, a Sealed. Uh, and behind that, our Legend is another Slin Voda, the Rising Deep. So we saw that guy earlier, a Forest, and a Knight token. Some new tokens, that's cool. We have another Angry Teferi. He's mad. All right. What does Angry Teferi have for us? He has a Deep Freeze, a Skirk Prospector, Davenant Trapper, Caligo Skin Witch, Gift of Growth, Academy Drake, a Seismic Shift, Voltaic Servant. You guys see what's in his hand or what is his hand? It's a Voltaic Key. Very, very cool. Eviscerate. Sweet removal spell and amazing. I would love to see this in foil. Look at that art. That art would be amazing in foil. Partic Wanderer. Song of Freya Lise is our uncommon saga. We are getting such sweet stuff out of this set. I am super happy. A Knight of Malice and <laughs> another of the legendary sorceries is our rare in Jaya's Immolating Inferno. And once again, done by Noah Bradley himself. Once again, I would check out the full art if you get the opportunity. It's really sweet. Behind that, we have another member of the Weatherlight crew as our legend slot, Tiana, ship's caretaker. I'll give you one guess what ship. Uh, anyway, so we have the angel on the ship. She hangs out with Arvad and seems to have developed a kinship with him, which is interesting as a, an angel and a vampire hanging out together. So there's Tiana. Behind her, a planes and a goblin token. This goblin art is so sweet. I love his uh, shoulder pads. They're terrifying and dangerous. It's so that he can get launched out of uh, catapults and trebuchets and stuff. Here is a Jaya again. Come on. We got a Mythic as a promo, so we haven't opened any yet in the pack. I see how it is. Uh, we have another Frenzied Rage, a Benelish Honor Guard, a Syncopate, Dark Bargain, Crozen Druid, wow, they're stuck together a little bit, Ancient Animus, a Fiery Intervention, Navigator's Compass, Cloud Reader Sphinx, Cabal Evangel, Elf Haim Druid is our first uncommon, Shield of the Realm is the second, and a Sylvan Awakening is our rare. It is a sorcery. Interesting. Uh, again, just showing, we've seen it many times, right? The forest waking up and getting real mad and attacking people. So behind that, we have Whisper Blood Liturgist as our uh, legend slot. It is an uncommon legend. Really, really cool. I'm interested to uh, try out this card and see how it works. Behind Whisper, an island and another Harry Sapperling, which is a disgusting sentence. We have Karn next. See what Karn has for us. Something good, maybe? 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 We'll see. All right. We have A, an Invoke the Divine, Vodalian Arcanist, Stronghold Confessor, Pierce the Sky, 
Thalid Omnivore, Skittering Surveyor, an Academy Drake, Seismic Shift, Voltaic Servant once again, a Sentinel of the Pearl Trident is our first uncommon, Board the Weatherlight again is the second, and we get our rare as a two-headed giant. Interesting. I'm, I'm, we get a card that's named after a format that it doesn't come in the set. Maybe we'll see it reprinted. There's a two-headed giant set coming up soon. Interesting. And a foil common in Warlord's Fury. Very cool. Look at the fire and that foiling pattern. That is sweet. Very, very cool. Harkens back to the Rada days, for those of you aware of the Time Spiral books, or Rada as a character, as we'll see. And another Arvad the Cursed. So in this kit, it feels like it kind of wants you to go Arvad, but we also got Multani, so who knows? Uh, but this is now our third Arvad, too. Two in non-foil, one in foil. We have a Swamp behind him, and a Saperling. We have two packs left in this kit, and like I said, one more kit after it. Let's see what else we can get, because that was real nice. Okay, I'll rip that weirdly. Come on now, there we go. Okay, so we have a Cold Water Snapper, Fervent Strike, Sergeant at Arms, Befuddle, Dark Bargain, a Lanoir Scout, Academy Journey Mage, Good Old Tragic Poet, Amazing, and the fact that, somebody pointed this out online, I'm not the first one to, to point it out, but the Halo uh, from this stained glass back here, actually being around the pen of the Tragic Poet, amazing. Vicious Offering. Untamed Kavu is the first uncommon. This card's sweet. Seeing Kavu back again is cool. A Spore Crown Thalid, and a Four Bears Blade as our rare. Really, really cool. Behind it, a Foil Rare in the Dread Shade. So we get a Pack Foil Rare, as opposed to the promo foil rares that were, or, or mythic in this box, uh, that we've been getting. Here is a pack foil dread shade, very cool. Behind it, our legend is, we were talking about his sister earlier and mentioned him, uh, a member of the Weatherlight crew, Raf Capuchin, ship's mage. Gold, uncommon, legendary creature, really, really cool. Behind Raf, we have a forest and another sapperling token. One more pack left, guys, in this kit. Once again, one more after. Let's see what we get. We get a Healing Grace to start, Relic Runner, Warlord's Fury again, a Charge, Mammoth Spider, Cabal Paladin, Kelden Raider, Broken Bond. So this is a common, but it is our first story spotlight. This story spotlight was very interesting. Uh, you might have seen Amy on our channel, one of her favorite characters, Nissa, kind of ending her watch. And by kind of, I mean seemingly ending her watch as a member of the Gatewatch. We'll see where that goes, I'm sure, in sets to come. But that is very, very interesting to me. We have a divination, Mesa Unicorn. Lingering Phantom, which is our first uncommon. Merfolk Trickster is the second. This card is sweet. And another of the legendary sorceries in Yogmoth's Vile Offering. Once again, sick art. Sick. You should definitely go check it out. I love this art so much. Possibly one of my favorites of the entire set. I, I have to take some time and think about it. They're all so good. Behind it, <laughs> I like this guy a lot. Our legend slot is Grun, the Lonely King. He's another one, I think, with all of his, like, tusks or spikes or whatever you want to call them. I would love to see this guy in foil. I think he'd look insane. But this card's nuts that you could just, if you kicked him and attack with him, he could attack for 20. Nuts. Crazy, crazy card. A mountain and a soldier token. So that's it for this kit, guys. Obviously, the uh, winner of this kit is clearly our promo foil mythic. That's insane. We'll leave that on the side. As promised, one more left, right? Just one more. Let's see what we have in here. Guys, let us know in the comments what you think of our opening, What, how we did. Did you do much better than us? Did you do much worse? Tell us uh, how your event went as I struggle to open this. There we go. Uh, we would love to hear all about it. Share some pictures with us on Twitter. The links to our Twitter and Facebook are down in the description box below. We would love to see how you guys did. And if you weren't able to make it out to one, we hope we helped you out by seeing what how sweet this set is. And I almost forgot, but we got the blue. 
the blue die. So there you go. All right. Same as before, we have six packs, and then, at well, first, our promos, which I'm going to fuddle with over here for a second. Okay. We have... Okay. First, our legend promo is Shauna, Sisei's legacy. So we have another one of her, but in foil now. So we have her and Arvad. Maybe we can foil out the, uh, the Weatherleg crew this weekend. But here's Shauna, and behind Shauna, we have another promo mythic in uh, Naru Mecha, Master Wizard. Really, really awesome. Look at that foiling pattern, looks really sick. I love it, and it's a foil mythic, which is amazing. So there you go, Naru Mecha, Master Wizard, or Meha, not Mecha, Meha. Naru Meha. Sorry, everyone. Uh, we'll put that on the side. And once again, six packs to open. The last six packs, at least for this video. We'll have lots more Dominaria to be opened on the channel. Don't you worry. You can stay tuned for that in the weeks to come. So, we have a Syncopate, Gitu Chronicler, Dub Dub Dub, a Divest, Grow from the Ashes, Unwind, with Joyra doing some time nonsense as she tends to do. Death Bloom Thalid, Shivan Fire, Sparring Construct, another Gideon's Reproach, a Triumph of Gerard. So here's another saga, another uncommon saga. I could explain the history behind this picture, but look it up because this is not just a spear he's holding, this depicts the legacy weapon. So look that up, I definitely recommend it. It's a very, very interesting find. Seal Away, and a Daring Archaeologist is the rare in the pack. Behind it, our legend, is Quenda, Pride of Femoref. Awesome. I think this guy is kind of interesting. I don't know that I enjoy this particular strategy that the card wants you to have. Eh, no, that's fine. I'm silly. I'm thinking of the wrong thing. But anyway, uh, Double Strike is sweet, and First Strike creatures having Double Strike is also sweet. So ignore everything else that I said, because I'm being silly. <laughs> Behind Quenda... A Swamp, Sweet Art on really all the lands, but this one looks really cool. Uh, and another Hairy Sapperling. Five packs left. We open this one to find... Come on, more sweet stuff. I am so hyped for this set. I hope you guys are too. This is, like, amazing. We have another Diavenant Trapper. Cold Water Snapper again. Another Fervent Strike, Cabal Paladin. Come on. Adventurous Impulse, Avon Sentry, Cabal Evangel, uh, Primordial Worm, Cloud Reader Sphinx, Navigator's Compass, Sarah Angel is the first uncommon, Weight of Memory is the second, and our rare or mythic is a Lich's Mastery. This is a legendary enchantment. That's really cool. And I think that's Jozu. I could be wrong, but I think it is. Behind Lich's Mastery, we have another Tiana, Ship's Caretaker, more Weatherlight crew, awesome. An island, beautiful island, and another, or an elemental token. This is our first of these. We have this Avon next. Avon pack, what do you have for us? Hopefully something good, because why not? Okay, we have a Diavenant Trapper again, lots of those. Syncopate, Fire Elemental. Caligo Skin Witch, Gift of Growth, Shivan Fire, lots of duplicates at this point because we've opened a lot, Call the Cavalry, Leather Lanoir Elves, it's been a little while, Sparring Construct, Eviscerate, Fire Fist Adept is the first uncommon, The Eldest Reborn is the second, it's another saga, it's an uncommon saga, but it's another saga that is so cool, we are opening saga after legendary sorcery, all over the place today. This is so cool. And this depicts the rebirth of Nicol Bolas after she was, or she, wow. He was killed by Tetsuo Umizawa, father of Tetsuko Umizawa, who maybe we'll see later, who knows? Or maybe you guys have seen. But anyway, going a little deep, showing off my hashtag Vorthos Pride as we tend to do. Behind that, another final parting. So here, speaking of Vorthos Pride, here's another story spotlight. And we have Evra Halcyon Witness as our legendary rare, so it fills both slots. We have a Plains and a Saperling token. Halfway through, three packs left in our last kit. We have Karn, 
What does Karn have in store for us? We got a foil rare the last time we opened a promo mythic. Let's see what we get here. We have a Benelish Honor Guard, Artificer's Assistant, adorable little wizard bird, a Keldon Warcaller, Knight of New Banalia, a Drudge Sentinel, Lanoir Envoy, Mesa Unicorn, Aesthere Glider is back, a Fungal Infection. This art is disgusting in the best way. I love it so much. Oh my goodness. Well, now you know that we have a Knight token as I throw the pack almost on the floor. Here's a Tragic Poet. Here's a Fungal Plots as our first uncommon. Joyra's Familiar as the second. And a Goblin Chain Whirler as our rare. So if you had gotten that uh, War Chief from before and this guy, maybe you could make something work, although I doubt it with just those two. And another Urgaros the Empty One is our Legend slot, followed by a Forest, and you saw it already, but a Knight token. Two packs left, Jaya on the front. Let's see what sweet stuff might be inside. Oh, I don't know that we've gotten one of these yet, which is surprising. Adamant Will, talking about uh, sweet looking stained glass on things. Adamant Will, Vidalian Arcanist, Frenzied Rage, a Benelish Honor Guard, Cabal Paladin, Adventurous Impulse, Mesa Unicorn, Divination, Short Sword, a Blessed Light. This card, the art is insane. I would love to see it in foil. And uh, with all of these sagas and stuff lying around, this might actually be good, but it also will exile a creature, which is sweet. Behind Blessed Light, an Elfheim Druid. Zalfirin Void, super, super sad. Uh, but the art is fantastic. And our rare or mythic? Oh, oh, that's fantastic. Do you see, do you guys, do you guys see this? Do you see, see what that word right there says? That says Mox. That's a Mox Amber. Art is insane. It's a mythic. Ah, uh, I love it. It's a legendary artifact. We're gonna move away from that, even though I don't really want to, to get to Adelie's the Cinderwind, which is our uh, uncommon legend for our legend slot. We have a mountain and a sapperling. So yeah, no, I'm happy with this kit now. We got a Mox Amber out of there. We still have one pack left. It is the last pack we're opening in this video today. Like I said, let us know what you thought of what we got. We have Keldon Warcaller, Knight of Nubanalia, Deep Freeze, Skirk Prospector, a Divest, Lanoir Scout, Short Sword, Blessed Light, Keldon Overseer, Academy Journey Mage, Memorial to Genius again, seen it a lot today, Board the Weatherlight, and our rare or mythic is an, oh my god, is another mythic in Muldrotha the Grave Tide. Very, very cool. A, oh yes. <laughs> and in our legend slot, we have Yargle. Glutton of y of Urborg, the Frog Spirit. This guy is amazing. Everybody loves them some Yargle. Behind Yargle, we have a Swamp and a Sapperling token. Guys, out of this kit alone, there are three Mythics. Three. And technically they share one color because the Mox Amber isn't a color. Um, so that's really, really, really cool. I like that a lot. Uh, so uh, I don't even know what to show you to close this thing off. That is crazy. I'm, you know what? Just for the heck of it, I'm going to leave you looking at this Mox Amber. With lack of anything else to show you, we had tons of stuff. This was awesome. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let us know in the comments what you thought of the video. Let us know how your pre-release went. Um, this was amazing. I want to thank, because we are here at Champion Card Collector in Poughkeepsie, New York. They have sponsored us for this video for the pre-release, the midnight release, and we want to thank them for that, as they always do. You can find the link to their website in the description below, and if you are anywhere near the Poughkeepsie, New York area, you should just come check the store out, because it's a lot of fun, a lot of amazing people, and if we're around, come say hi, because uh, we're personable like that. But this has been the Dominaria pre-release kit openings. We will have lots more, don't you worry, as I said. You can click on that logo to subscribe. You can also click on the playlist that will be popping up on the screen, and that will take you to our story reviews for Dominaria. If you are interested, that's what Dominaria is all about, is the story, the nostalgia. We have been reviewing the stories. We are six episodes in and many more to come, so you should check it out. Click on that playlist, check out our videos, subscribe. You will see the reviews that my fiance Amy and 
everything I do, as well as all these lovely openings with these sweet cards. I have been Joe, this has been Geek For All. Thank you once again to Champion, and thank you all for watching. And as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody.